missing in my love subject circle. And why do I love math? Because it's the subject that can use numbers, lines, shapes, measurements, and many more equations. And why do I keep on liking math? Well, I'll show you reasons. I love the numbers. The numbers help you calculate equations. Numbers are made to help you improve your memory. Numbers and gardens. The numbers are like friends that you can play with. The numbers are toys of learning math. Examples are 28, 14, 56, etc. This is learned by NPP until elementary. I love fractions. Fractions can help you measure length, volume, sometimes height and weight. Fraction examples are one half, two thirds, three fourths, seven eight, and more. You must use reciprocal if you're going to divide, cancellation if you are going to multiply, and repeating amount if your first and second denominator has the same amount of number when you're adding or subtracting fractions. I love decimals. These are partners of fractions and numbers. When you add 1.5 plus 1, it's equal to 2.5. When you multiply 0.5 times 5, the answer is 2.5. Decimal points represent their sign as a dot. A decimal separates its whole number. Fraction is 1 half, the decimal is 0.5. I love equations. The equations are like mature toys of math. I realized that the equations are more fun to solve. The equations are new friends. They work on algebra, advanced fractions, and more. These help you improve math more than you. These are tricky questions that can blow your mind. I love the integers. Integers are not a hard thing to solve because the signs are only positive and negative. Positive times negative is negative, while negative multiplied by positive negative is positive. Integers are free equations. This can be learned already in grade 5 or 6. I love exponents. They always want to be high. When they, want, they want to be with the number. They look small because of how high they are. They may be like squared or 2, cubed or 3, and the number raised to 4 or 1. If you have 8 squared, it means 8 times 8, then multiply. The answer is 64. If you have 2 thirds, it means 2 times 2 times 2, then multiply. The answer is 8. I love the polynomials. It's no hard thing to solve because you're only going to solve some easy equations and identify if it's polynomial or not. If it's monomial, binomial, or trinomial. It's sometimes used in advanced fractions. I love graphing. Graphing is easy to learn because you're going to use numbers. The numbers you are going to use is integers. Graphing might need equations sometimes because of the variety of questions. These could be partners of integers. These are patterns of numbers. I love Brené Descartes' Cartesian coordinate system. This is the next step on how to graph numbers. Because its parts are the x and y axis, the four quadrants, and the center, or also called center point. The first quadrant contains positive, comma, positive. The second quadrant contains negative, comma, positive. Third contains negative, comma, negative. And fourth contains positive, comma, negative. I love algebra. The map of advancement. It has the collection of equations, integers, graphing, fraction, areas, volumes, lengths, weight measurements, how to study the area of every shape, and many of numbers and variables, even pi, and etc. Algebra also contains linear equations, complex fractions, and more. Algebra is already learned by high school and college. Two of the most hardest algebra is trigonometry and calculus. These are the 11 reasons why I love math. I hope you appreciate this persuasive 